ugly. Five. Five. Who are the best and who are the worst NFL teams? It's Mike Gill's Fine Five and Ugly Five on 97.3 ESPN-FM, South Jersey's football station. All right, here we go. Five best, five worst. Who are they? According to us, five best, five worst. We call them the Fine Five and the Ugly Five. Let's start with the Uglies at number five. Josh, who's the fifth worst team in the league? I was actually debating this slot, but I kind of just settled on the Colts. They've given up 280 points this year. Your head coach is a former defensive coordinator, and you give up 280 points. You are ugly. <laughs> uh, my fifth team is also the Colts. Listen, Andrew Luck doesn't want any part of this situation. Jacoby Brissett is going to start not to want any part of this situation. They can't block anybody. The Colts are my fifth team. Uh, I got Denver in there. You give up 51 week, 40 the next week. Your quarterback situation's a disaster. 0-4 on the road. 239 points given up. You were supposed to be the number one defense in the league. They've lost five in a row. Guess what? You're not ugly. You're friggin' ugly. <laughs> <You're Brock Osmo. laughs> uh, number four. I've got the Colts at number four. 280 minus 101 can't win uh, anywhere. I mean, they're just not a very good football team. This is a team that's in disaster, too. you got the owner saying that the quarterback doesn't have it between the, 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 the ears. I mean, that's a disaster out there. Number four, Deshaun. Number four, I got the Buffalo Bills. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're a five and four. If the playoffs started today, you would be in the playoffs, and you bench your starting quarterback? One that has nothing to do with you allowing almost 50 points to the Saints, by the way, for a fifth-round rookie? You're trying to tank. You know, terrible, terrible. Number four. Uh, I'm going to save save all that excitement for later. Number four, Bills. Buffalo My Bills. number four team is not the Bills. My number four team is the Bears. How on God's green earth can you not be Brett Hundley? Brett Hundley has got to be the worst Green Bay quarterback since the Magic Man back in 92. Don Mikowski. The Magic Man can play? Yeah. I said the worst since. Right. Brett Hundley's only played a couple games. No break. A couple games. He's had a few games this year. He plays every preseason. He had a few games a few years ago when Rodgers got hurt the last time. And you're the Bears. You slowed down the Steelers. You beat up the Ravens. You've taken care of almost every offense you've run into as a defense. At least you played them solid. And you can't stop Brett Hundley? You're ugly. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, Ed. Number three. <laughs> Josh, while you're on a roll. I had to move the 49ers down, guys. They're still an ugly team, but they're a winning ugly team. They're a hard winning ugly team. Mike, Kyle Shanahan, the son of Mike Shanahan, might be a good coach, but for right now, his team is ugly. Congrats to them on that win. My number three team is the 49ers also. CJ Pathard. I said the man's name right. He Bethard. Actually, it's Bethard. Yeah, you said it wrong. Well, I said it wrong. Listen. You just said I said the man's name right, and you said it wrong. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I you can't that. mention the guy's name. <laughs> say you say it right and get it wrong. Look, CJ. By the way, B. this guy's right on the text board. You said you didn't want McAdoo to coach because he was a coordinator. I didn't say I wanted Doug Peterson either. I'm just riding that way. All right, but now you like Peterson because he was a coordinator. No, because he's winning. That's all it takes. <laughs> yeah. Four uh, ers stink. I'm gonna end it at that. They stink. Uh, I got 49ers as well. They win, but. They did move from number two to number three because number two, the Giants, are now number two, and they're creeping into the number one spot. They've lost three in a row. Here's the big number. They're 0-4 at home. They actually won their one game on the road. That's why Denver. They beat Denver at Denver. Yeah. So I got the Giants at number two. Number two, I got the Giants also. They lost to the 49ers and let CJ, I'm not going to attempt to say that man's name again, have almost Bethard. Bethard. Bethard have almost 30 fantasy points. I almost lost my fantasy league because somebody had the heart to start that man. And the Giants allowed him to do what he wanted. The Giants are just a disappointment. Ben McAdoo needs to be fired. Giants are number two. You're both wrong. The Giants are the number one ugly team in the NFL. You moved the they Browns? are the Browns are down. You are the New York Giants. You have Eli Manning. You won 11 games last year. You have Landon Collins, Janoris Jenkins, Snacks Harrison, Olivier Vernon. Should I continue? And you lose to the 49ers. No, you are ugly. The you have discord in your locker room. Nobody likes your head coach. Your head coach is a smug jerk. <laughs> okay? No. And you're going to get up there and lose to the 49ers? No. The Giants are the most ugly team in the NFL. They need a culture change. All right. Oh, I don't okay. have a problem with that, by the way. 
when you have a Super Bowl winning quarterback, two timer by the way, and you have one win to show for it. I mean, the Browns haven't won more than two games in three seasons. Yeah, but we expect that. We don't expect this. I bet you if Eli Manning started for the Browns, the they'd have at least there, one game. Way. They're in the playoffs. You made them one of the five worst teams in the league. Yeah, because they're. I'm projecting that. That was terrible today, Mike. That was terrible. I don't have a big problem with it. Such disrespect. <laughs> but for a guy who's never been to the playoffs, I'm sorry. A guy who's never been to the playoffs, I should be I mean, back like, in it. You know? I can understand if you were like, man, this guy's been to the playoffs three straight years. We've given him chance after chance. I mean, and I'm not even saying it's his fault that this team is where they are. But it's not like this guy's pedigree is playoff. He's only started two seasons, my which he's won eight and seven games with Rex Ryan as his head coach on his way out. How many playoff appearances? I mean, that franchise had that playoff appearance. God knows how. Well, obviously, he wasn't helping them get there. All right, <laughs> who are the five best teams in the league? Number five, Josh. I got the L.A. Rams. Great point differential. Quarterbacks playing well. Sean McVay should be the coach of the year at this point. I mean, Ooh. what this team has turned around and what he's done with this team is impressive. My only bugaboo with this team, I think the defense should be playing better for that personnel. So that's why they're still number five for me, Deshaun. Number five, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last week, they had to grind it out with the Colts. The Colts. The Colts have been trying to intentionally lose games for weeks now. And you barely can beat the Colts? Listen, I like Mike Tomlin. I like the Steelers. But I'm not a believer that they're a contender in the AFC. They're number five. I got the Vikings at number five here this week. Defense. 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 Very good on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, Keenum's playing I, look, he's exceeded many people's expectations. I don't love no kiss, um, the situation they have there, but I got the Vikings at number five. Number four. Number four, I had the New England Patriots. Listen, Tom Brady, he's getting in that those, those roles where he just looks like he wants to take over that AFC race. And it's going to be very easy now since the Bills decided to bail out on the playoff race. Patriots at four. My number four team is the Steelers. I love this defense. There's only one team that's given up less points on defense this year than the Jaguars. I know the offense has got some issues. You know, Big Ben, I'm still wondering where his head is half the time. You know, Le'Veon Bell, sometimes the way he runs, I'm wondering if his head is more focused on his next contract than actually playing. But that defense is really good. you got to give them credit. A lot of sneaky moves this offseason. They're my number four team, Mike. Uh, I've got the Rams. Um, that team's got the best point differential in the league. Young quarterback can throw the ball down the field. Watkins, Gurley, uh, Woods, uh, yeah. like the fans. coach. I don't have a problem with this team being in my um, fine five. They've been there a couple times, too. I think this is the second time they've been in there. All right, number three, I got the Saints. Defense, run the ball, weapons, Drew Brees, Peyton, Super Bowls, enough for me. <laughs> I yep. also have the Saints, actually, really quick. You know, they're 4-1 and one on the road, guys. Yeah. They're winning games on the road. This is a team that's infamous for not being able to do anything outside of a dome. Now, all of a sudden, they got a running game. Melvin Ingram, Kamara, the two-headed monster. That defense Mark is playing Ingram. well. Mark Ingram. You said Melvin Ingram. Mark Ingram. Yeah, Melvin Ingram plays for the defense. Chargers. Mark Ingram <laughs> plays for the Saints. Tell right, me, since we're point. just correcting names over here, I mean. <laughs> well, listen, no, that, was, that was a good catch by you. Number Melvin Ingram went to South Carolina. <laughs> Mark Ingram went to Alabama. Eh. I know. Number three, I have the Los Angeles Rams. Listen. I love this team during the regular season. I believe this team is going to win that division. I love Sean McVay. I think he's the new style head coach. I just don't believe in Jared Goff to win you playoff games. And until I see it, I don't believe it. We don't believe you. We need more people. Number three, Los Angeles Rams. All right, number two. Josh, what do you got? I'm going to go with the best coach in the NFL and the Omega Level Mutant, Tom Brady. The New England Patriots are amazing. Omega Level Mutant. Wow. It's, Whatever it's, that means. <laughs> well, obviously, you don't, don't watch explain. Marvel movies. Don't explain. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Uh, <laughs> Come on. The Patriots are amazing, guys. I mean, this team keeps winning and winning, and nobody fully understands when it's going to stop. That team is supposed to stink, and they finally find a way to turn it around. Man, this, this team's good. Number two, I have the New Orleans Saints. Listen, Drew Brees, we talked about it earlier this season, Mike. Is he still that same guy? that has that Super Bowl pedigree, I'm sorry. Yes, he is rejuvenating that franchise. He just said, I never want to leave New Orleans. 
They better hope he doesn't because he is taking them places this year in New Orleans Saints number two. I've got the Patriots number two. We said it a couple of weeks ago on the show. That defense would start turning it around. Well, guess what? They're a plus 62. The defense has given up the least amount of points in the division. They've turned things around on the defensive side of the ball. The New England Patriots are number two. I think we all have Philly at number I one. I guess five. True that. To uh, wrap up this week's edition of the Fine Five and the Ugly Five. Brought to you by Miller Light, the original light beer, brewed to have more taste with only 96 calories. Hold true.